Deontay Wilder has insisted that the Anthony Joshua fight will always be there. He has sent a message to Anthony Joshua directly. He says he will be happy to fight Anthony Joshua still, and the fight is still there. Now, this does affect the purses of Anthony Joshua, according to Deontay Wilder. Not his, he even said, not mine, it doesn't affect mine, it affects Anthony Joshua. He said it does not affect his purse because he is not the one who lost. Anthony Joshua is the one who lost. So it will affect his purse going into the fight with Deontay Wilder should it happen down the line. So Deontay Wilder is still open for it. But is he still open for it? Has he ever been open for it really? I know Anthony Joshua has lost. But does that mean he's been running from Deontay Wilder? No, absolutely not. He lost a fight. That in no way proves that Anthony Joshua has been running from Deontay Wilder. So I don't see what Deontay Wilder is getting at and what he is trying to do with this. I guess he's just using Anthony Joshua's name and using the fact that Anthony Joshua has lost and maybe he is in the news and his name is on social media. So Deontay Wilder wants a piece of that like he always has. That's all Deontay Wilder seems to do with Anthony Joshua. Just use his name to build up his fights because no one's really talking about Deontay Wilder. I mean, I know Anthony Joshua lost, but people are still talking about him. People are still interested in him, and they want to see him come back and regain his world titles. They want Anthony Joshua to do well, to get back to the heights he's been at before. But they're not talking about Deontay Wilder, and that angers him a bit. He doesn't like that. He wants to be a public figure. He wants to be seen by everyone, by the masses, and be in the public eye. But he can't do that on his own. He needs a certain Anthony Joshua, or even a certain Tyson Fury. In order to do that. That is why he continues to mention them. He's not talking about Luis Ortiz. He's not saying things about him. Which he should because that's the guy he's fighting. He's not fighting Tyson Fury next. No deal has been put into place. Tyson Fury said he has not signed any deal to fight Deontay Wilder. Not for a trilogy or anything. So the Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury fight is officially off until it is on. Until a deal has been agreed and signed by both parties. That fight is not going ahead. So Deontay Wilder is fighting Luis Ortiz not Anthony Joshua, not Tyson Fury. So what is he doing? You guessed it, he's just using their names to build his own profile, just as he always has. Does it also anger him that in a loss where Anthony Joshua is no longer champion, he is still more well known and more loved by his fans than Deontay Wilder is? That must really bite for Deontay Wilder. American, big, WBC, heavyweight champion of the world. Yet, no one will flock to see him, no one's really interested in him, and the only reason why they would be is because of Anthony Joshua or Tyson Fury or even Dylan White. Someone who he has been running from from day one. He doesn't want to fight Dylan White. He doesn't want the work of that. He never even talks about Dylan White because he doesn't want to meet him. doesn't want to see him face to face because he knows that if he ever meets Dylan White ringside or anywhere like that, Dylan White will put it on him and he doesn't want that heat. Well, Dylan White will do that anyway because he's been wanting to fight Deontay Wilder for a very long time and he is overdue an opportunity. But it just won't come for Dylan White. It will do in the future, hopefully, though. That's another reason why the trilogy with Tyson Fury cannot happen. Because Deontay Wilder will be fighting Luis Ortiz, a voluntary, and then trying to have two fights with Tyson Fury? No, that is not allowed. Dylan White needs to have his opportunity. So I do not believe that Deontay Wilder will be fighting Tyson Fury in a trilogy. And I do not believe he is even interested in fighting Anthony Joshua. He is just saying this just so he can have his five minutes of fame. The thing is about Deontay Wilder, people don't naturally like him. People aren't naturally interested in him because he's not really that interesting, to be honest. He says the same things over and over again. He tries to say these cool, quick one-liners, but they don't really come off. He is very cringy when you hear him talk. And it's just really classless the way he is using Anthony Joshua's name, especially now when Anthony Joshua is down. And he's been kicking him while he has been down, which shows all the character of Deontay Wilder. Because you never kick a man while he is down, only a coward does that. So that says a lot about Deontay Wilder. Guys, what are your thoughts on Deontay Wilder's comments saying that the Anthony Joshua fight will always be there? Do you think he's just using this to get in the media again? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, click the thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Thank you guys.